On Monday night, the Pirates came back from five runs down to win a game for the first time since July of last year. On Tuesday night, the Buccos took the field trying to do something they've never done before, beat Johan Santana. Zach Duke on the mound for the Pirates, 2-1 and one in his career against the Mets. Top two, he's got Omer Santos going 1-6-3. For the first two outs in the second, he would escape. Top three, Luis Castillo, he'll single to center. Jeremy Reed is coming home, but so is Nate McLeod, and McLeod protects the house. Nice tag from Jason Jaramillo up the line. Santana on the mound, as we mentioned, for the Mets, 2-0, a 1-1-9 career ERA against the Buccos. Bottom three, Jack Wilson to second. Luis Castillo, sick, criminally robs Wilson of a hit, and he makes the throw over to first base. And then Zach Duke later in the inning, staring. Santana, perfect through three and a third. Top four, David right at the plate, and he'll go to right field, and Brandon Moss getting a little dirty, dirty. That would have been a fair ball. Bottom five, Mets up 1-0 when Jason Jaramillo sends this one out to left. Berlin's got it on the corner of Wilkins and Bellrock, his first career home run. It's a 1-1 ball game. Bottom six, Freddie Sanchez on first. Nate McLeod tries to bond in. Santana uncorks the wild pitch, and later in the at-bat, McLeod doubles down the right field line. That's the go-ahead run. It's the first extra base hit with a runner in scoring position allowed by Johan all year. Next up, Adam LaRoche. He liked where Nate went to dinner, and so he goes to the same table. An RBI double to right. Pirates up 3-1. So in the save the ball game is Matt Capps looking for save number 12 on the season, and with two outs, he gets Wilson Valdez to bounce to second as the Pirates beat Johan Santana for the first time in his career. Buccos win 3-1. Zach Duke goes seven innings to get his sixth win despite not recording a strikeout. The Mets have combined to score five runs in Johan's three losses this season.